The Laka family believe that the next phase in the global green revolution starts at their house. Reichardt and his wife Christine live an almost carbon neutral life in the Bavarian countryside. Today we have 5%. Life is cheaper. Yes. <laughs> The Lackers are part of a groundswell of people across Germany who no, now control no, yeah. their own resources. The community is growing, Reichardt says. His neighbours are about to install a new system too, and there's another new solar field coming online just down the road. Life was a little more difficult a few years ago, but energy storage technology is developing fast. This German company, Zonnen Energy, say their household battery sales are doubling every year. They see the energy world gradually decentralizing. Germany is today in the very unique position to be the lab, the lab of the world, where um, everybody can try how energy transition can work in practical life, um, and other countries can learn, because what is happening here today will happen everywhere. The company now have a factory in the US as well, and ship their product from here, mostly to other parts of the developed world. Zonnen built its business around a community that understands renewable energy well because Germans have been funding a costly transition away from fossil fuels for the best part of 20 years. But it was in the 12 months after the signing of the Paris Climate Agreement that global capacity started increasing at a rate that not even the most optimistic analysts had forecast. And that's left many wondering if this whole process is now irreversible. albeit moving in slightly different directions. This offshore wind farm developer has just taken on two new projects off the North German coast without subsidies. Dong Energy executives call it a man on the moon moment for what is a larger, more centralized approach. It's corporate America that is driving the, the strive to push for more renewables. So it's consumers behind it who say, I want products, and I want to buy from companies that source their power from renewable sources. And once you have reached that point, you know, it's not, it's not down to the next election and then everything might go the other way. And that, say, experts could add up to a paradigm shift politically. The biggest interdependencies were between producers and consumers and probably transit countries. And this is changing with renewable energy significantly because everyone can be a producer, everyone can be a consumer, and we don't necessarily need transit countries. So no amount of wrangling at the G20 is going to bother the lackers too much. As far as they're concerned, they're powering the change, not the politicians. Guy Henderson, CGTN, Bavaria.